My name is Emil Vidalkar and in this video I'm going to speak to you about how you can start your own fashion brand for under £500. So guys, I've done this video to help those of you out there that haven't got large budgets, but you still want to start your own fashion venture. Now, full disclosure, some of the information I'm going to share with you in this video, I don't totally agree with, but it's for your benefit. So I'll be as impartial as I can. One of the most common questions I get asked is how much does it cost to start a fashion brand? And this question is kind of like asking me how long is a piece of string? Now, I've done an earlier video where I, I, I cover more in detail how much it will cost to, to start a brand and uh, the link should pop up now. The purpose of this video is to help those of you that are on a much tighter budget. You might be under 16 and you still want to get that fashion business going. So within the realms of starting your own fashion brand for under £500, these are the following ways that you could possibly do it. You could do what's called basic white label goods, and that's where you would purchase products that are blanks uh, from China, uh, Turkey, even their, their suppliers in the UK and you'd buy those blanks and then you'd put your logo, be a print or embroidery or maybe a customization and then you'd sell the full garment as it is. Now you'd probably be able to purchase about anywhere between 20 to 50 units for under 500 pounds, especially if it's something like t-shirts which are uh, relatively cost effective. You could start yourself off with enough stock to um, sell to a healthy number of people. Next, you can buy old or vintage goods. And when you purchase them, you can choose how you're gonna customize them. I mean, you don't have to customize them. You can just sell them as they are and then put your label in the garment so it's branded with your name. Now, whenever you buy vintage goods, it's recommended that you wash them first before you sell them on because you don't know how the previous owner of the garments looked after it. Now, the designer in me prefers that when you buy these vintage or old items that you customize it so it's got your own creative flair to it. So let's say you spent £200 on buying old goods, then spend maybe another 100 or another £200, go to the fabric shop, buy trims, buy fabrics, buy all these different accoutrements and then create something that brings that design one step further. So if you break it down like this, you spent £200 on buying vintage clothes, then you spent another £200 on buying fabrics and trims, and then you spend another £50 getting the garments professionally pressed, then you're ready to start selling those vintage reworked customised garments. Next, you could choose to buy dead stock from factories. And this is kind of called a sample sale. But what, what you'll find is when you have garment factories, and there are quite a few in London and UK, um, they might keep garments that haven't passed quality control checks throughout the week or throughout the month. And then they'll choose a day that they're going to sell all of those goods just to make their money back and they'll sell them for a really discounted rate. So, I mean, we found a factory in Balham years ago that every Saturday morning, they would put all these garments out on display and then you just go there and buy stuff. For this to work, you need to have good connections with the factories, good relationships with each of them, and know obviously what days they're gonna be doing these sales. So you're one of the first to arrive to get the best of what's there. Next, you could go to the fabric shop and spend two to three hundred pounds on fabrics that work for the style that you're making, on fabrics that inspire you, on fabrics that work for the color, color theme that you want to create for your collection. And then spend maybe another hundred pounds on getting some patterns, some block patterns that you can use and alter to create your collection. And then you can spend a hundred to two hundred pounds on buying yourself a sewing machine to create your first collection. And this is pretty much what I did. Um, I used to go down to the Tutu Market literally every day for like two years, just buying fabrics. And even when I didn't have no money, I, I would always find a way to find money to get fabrics because it, it, it was one of my first loves. I found that whenever I went fabric shopping, I would always get inspired and I'd always walk out of the shop happier. I guess I just found it as a form of, of therapy, really. I've been a creative person. 
I work on visuals. So being in that environment, I was able to look at fabrics and decide what I was going to do with them. And in some cases, I had no idea what I was going to do with them, but I just decided that I love this fabric. So I, I just purchased it there and then simply because I didn't want anyone else to have it. Now, those are my four top tips for starting your own fashion brand for a budget less than £500, which is going to be great, like I said, if you're under 18 or even if you're older and you haven't got a great deal of money. These are four tried and tested methods that can work to get your brand started. Just be aware that as you grow, you're going to have to think of how you can get your money together to acquire a larger budget, to scale your brand, to get it to that next stage. Thanks for watching this video. Please remember to check out the rest of the videos on my channel. We've got some amazing interviews with professional women. We've got some videos to advise those of you who are fashion startups, as well as videos where I talk about my time at McQueen, Kanye West, Victoria Beckham, and some other amazing fashion houses and lots, lots more. And remember, if you want to book a one-to-one -one consultation or workshop with me, just click the link below in the description and then book your session. It'd be great to meet you in person. And if not, we can do it over Zoom as well.